Hello, my name is Mark Reynolds and welcome to Heads Up. Today we're going to talk about the jobs market and we're going to talk about careers in IT. Now it's a difficult time for a lot of young people at the moment and there's a lot of uncertainty in the jobs market and there's a lot of young people wondering whether or not to invest in going to college or going to university. Um, what we're going to try and talk a little bit about is some of the Microsoft certifications that are available and how your school or your college can teach them giving real world skills or possibly encouraging them to become entrepreneurs and start technology businesses. So my name is Mark Reynolds. I'm the school's business manager um, for Microsoft here in the UK. And if you want to find me on Twitter, I'm at the Mark Reynolds. As I said at the start, um, there can be quite a bleak picture. Um, there's some stats up on the screen about youth unemployment. Um, the risk there is people think that there aren't any opportunities in any industries, whereas, of course, we know that that's not true. Um, the IT jobs outlook is actually very strong. Um, not only do businesses need to employ more and more IT experts all the time, but also the rate of growth of new startup businesses is, uh, is huge. Um, the thing that we have seen being difficult for schools is how they teach the modern skills which businesses need or which young people might need if they wanted to start their own companies. Um, of course, it's not all about technology careers. Um, in every career now, you need technology skills. So whether that's being proficient um, in using Microsoft Office to do your job, um, or that's using other software, more and more that's part of day-to-day -day life, no matter what industry you're in. So this is an example here on the screen about the car industry, which was traditionally obviously a manufacturing industry and, and still is, but a lot of the machines are controlled by computers. So knowing A, just how to operate simple user interfaces is, is vital, but also people have to, to work programming those machines and therefore careers in computer science don't just point people down an IT route, they're used across a breadth of industries, in this case, the car industry. The real thing that we're here to introduce today is the Microsoft IT Academy programme. Now, we're having lots of success in the UK with it already. And in simple terms, it's a way for schools and colleges to deliver accredited Microsoft training courses in your classrooms. That could be very broad and you could put people through that kind of Microsoft Office training that I talked about that you need across all businesses. Or you can make it very specific and lead them down a particular industry like computer science. Um, when your school or college signs up, you uh, become a Microsoft IT Academy, you get access to all the training courses, and typically it starts with one member of staff becoming a Microsoft certified trainer. There's a huge range of benefits, which we won't go into now, and I'll give you some links at the end. But um, the, the main thing to take away is that there's a real mix in IT Academy of having that person in your school who becomes the expert and is a certified trainer with a whole range of online courses and additional curriculum benefits that you get as part of the program. Um, of course, you could just teach the courses, get people skilled up without certification, but really that doesn't give young people the value out of those courses. Um, of course, when they go into the jobs market, they go into interviews, what they want is something for their CV. So on screen now, we've just got a couple of examples of how you can move up through different certification paths under Microsoft IT Academy. OK, that starts with everybody getting that basic level of digital literacy. And then you can move up the one path, which is those technical certifications we've talked about for people that might want to be web developers or game developers or go creating the next CGI movie when they leave school or an office certification, which gives people the ability to just get upskilled in the programs they probably use already, but get a lot more proficient with things like Word, Excel or PowerPoint. Um, here's a couple of examples of people who, who are already doing it. Um, the Barnsley Academy um, did some great work with mobile phones. So, of course, at the moment, everybody wants an app built, but there's a huge shortage in the market of young people leaving school or leaving college with the right modern skills to build apps. So that's something that they did using the Microsoft IT Academy courses. Um, Sortry in Cambridgeshire have been a Microsoft um, IT Academy for a long time. They're a fantastic school and they give the Microsoft Office exams to years 10 and 11. 
Um, they also do some great links with the local community. So if your school or college does become an IT academy, it's not just about the young people. You can also have adults from the local community in, whether that's parents or, or other groups, um, and train them too. And lastly, just to mention the EACT group of academies who recently as a whole have made all the EACT sites in the UK, all the secondary schools, into Microsoft IT academies. And that's something that's rolling out as we speak. Um, this is a quick snapshot to say that um, there's a global market. This is a competitive market for young people. Um, we're doing well in the UK, but you can see there's a huge investment going in from governments across other countries. That means some things are happening across the whole country, you know, countrywide from the central government. Now, with the current situation in the UK, that's unlikely to happen. So this is really down to individual schools and colleges to make that decision that this is something that's right for them but you have to help your students compete in that global marketplace all the same. Um, again, going back to the point about certification, um, this is something that once they've got it on their CV, they'll have for life. It's just a proof point, really, that what they've done in school maps to the needs of what businesses are asking for. And again, Microsoft works with lots of businesses as well as with the education system. And we hear over and over again how important certification is when they're hiring um, either graduates or, uh, or first time employees. So last couple of points to make. If you do look at the Microsoft Office certifications, there are three different levels, um, a master, expert and a specialist. You can do exams in any of the different applications. So you don't have to go and do the whole lot. You can just become a specialist in Word or a specialist in PowerPoint to start off with and then progress up through those grades. Um, we think there's a real benefit to teachers actually doing this. So if you think about teachers planning lessons, a lot of that happens in PowerPoint. How much better would those PowerPoint presentations be and how much more engaging would the lessons be if they were delivered um, by a teacher that had much greater expertise in PowerPoint and didn't just end up presenting a blank white slide with you know, four bullet points on, as I'm afraid young people see up and down the country probably every day. Um, the other thing, if we think about teachers using um, Excel better for looking at student data. So again, we generate huge amounts of MIS data, but do teachers really know how to get the most from it and plan meaningful impact using that data? What we've got on the screen is we also talk about students um, being more productive. So they're able to get things done quicker if they know how to use the office applications better. And that's why MOS really could go across the school um, or across the college for, for everybody. If they do want to go down the more technical route, the course is the Microsoft Technology Associate, um, the MTA, and you can do an MTA again in lots of different disciplines. So they're listed uh, on the screen here on, and they'll be on the website that I'll give you the link for in a minute. But you can go and do an MTA in game development fundamentals or, or app development fundamentals. They're obviously two that are really popular um, or the more kind of basic uh, database admin or web development that have been around for a long time. But of course, if you want to get students interested, Doing gaming or app building is a very good and current way to, to get them hooked and get them interested in your courses. Um, last couple of things. Um, this really does uh, matter in the jobs market. So we've got a little search here that's showing if you go to a, this is the read site, but you go to a recruitment site and you search on Microsoft jobs. There's a huge number, seven and a half thousand jobs looking for Microsoft skills. Um, if you're choosing which certifications to do, though, we think it's a very good bet to bet on Microsoft for this, because if you look at some of our competitors, if you search on Google jobs, there's about 600. If you search on Apple jobs, there's about 200. So even though some of our competitors, um, you know, may be doing well in certain markets, when it comes to employability, Microsoft is really, really strong. And that's qualifications that matter and that mean something when they get into the jobs market. Um, as I've said earlier, there's lots of different methods. There's online learning. Um, you can make this available for students at home as well as in the classroom. And of course, start to blend instructor-led books or the curriculum material with e-learning um, and you know, virtual learning as well if you've got your Microsoft trainer but it wants to deliver in a different way. So uh, what should you do next? Uh, if you want to become a Microsoft IT Academy, you can actually add that to your existing Microsoft Volume License subscription. 
Um, so if you've got a subscription uh, deal with Microsoft for, through a reseller and that you buy Office and Windows or your server products, you can add that and become a Microsoft IT Academy for around £750 a year. So it's really not a significant cost. Um, the link to go find out more information is microsoft.com forward slash learning. And we really hope some of you go off, find out more about the Microsoft IT Academy program and use that to make a difference for the young people in your school or in your college. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Heads Up and we'll see you again soon.